What is content marketing and why does it matter? Why should you pay attention to me today? Content marketing is a type of marketing strategy that involves creating and distributing valuable, relevant and engaging content in order to attract your ideal prospect, educate them, get them to trust you enough to buy. Good content such as unique posts created by you, blogs, educational content, business hacks, are all used to nurture prospects into making a purchase. You know that expression, get them to know, like and trust you enough to buy. Gently guiding them towards the right solution without being too salesy. If you are put off by salesy and high P, think about this. This marketing doesn't explicitly promote your business. Instead, it meets your prospect where they are. It stimulates their interest after you've got their attention. It helps them understand how you can provide the best solution for a problem they're seeking to solve. Great content entertains, educates, and enriches. That way you naturally keep them interested, build a trusting relationship and entice them down your sales funnel to become customers. Let me show you a few expert quotes to help bring this point home about why content marketing needs your attention today. James Allen says, if we face the truth, we know that content marketing is about making money. So what I've just told you, naturally, in a non-salesy, supportive, nurturing way, taking people down your sales funnel by showing them how you help, how to trust you to provide the best solution for the problem they have right now. Seth Godin, content marketing is all the marketing that's left. I'm going to keep scrolling through and hopefully some of these really connect with you and grab your interest so that you can see how I can help you do better, more enjoyable marketing that help attract leads that are easier to convert to sales because people learn to like, know and trust you. We need to stop interrupting what people are interested in and be what people are interested in. When you meet people where they are and you listen to understand, not to reply, people will notice you are interested and you will learn so much more and be able to respond so much more effectively. When you make your customers the heroes of your stories, when you focus on your ideal customer and their problems, your solution becomes that much more compelling. Content marketing is proven to provide four times the return on your investment than good old traditional marketing. It's not the best content, by the way, that wins. It's the best promoted content that wins. So where do you put it? How do you distribute it? Who do you show it to? The buying journey is nothing more than a series of questions that must be answered. I'm going to demonstrate that to you in a minute. Meeting the customer where they are in whatever stage of their buying journey and to usher them down your sales funnel with the right content at the right time. Content marketing is a commitment, not a campaign. So once you commit to this, it needs to be ongoing, consistent, like any relationship that you value. You are there for the long term, not just a quick sell and, a, and dashing off. 
And content marketing is no longer a numbers game. It's a game of relevance. You have to know who your customer is, what stage of the buying journey they are at, and how you can talk to them where they are. What's going to get their interest where they are at that time? This really reiterates what I've said to you. Content marketing is like a first date. If all you do is talk about yourself, the second date won't happen. Think long term. Think listening. Think finding common interests. Establishing that you like each other and take it from there. Content builds relationships. Relationships are built on trust. And trust drives revenue. Your job is not just to create content. It's to create content that adds value. Think of it like this. Whatever you're creating, ask yourself, is this really useful? Will they thank us? When you start thinking like that, you are going to see the way people engage with you take on a whole new way. And be brave. Be different. Stand up for what you believe, what value you offer, and have confidence in the way you help and who you help, how you help, and the transformation you deliver. Value the time you have in people's inbox, in their news feed, wherever you are putting your content. Don't add to the spam, to the noise. Rather, focus on adding value. Be that one that they look forward to seeing. This goes back to what I said earlier. Entertain Enrich, educate. That really is what Anne Handley is saying here. Useful and enjoyable and inspired is great content. Stand out with great content. Just sharing somebody else's inspirational posts is not standing out. Show people how you help, what you do, who you are. Here's everything you need to know. Clear, concise, and compelling. Again, content marketing comes down to a commitment. There's no halfway. So if you're going to give this the attention and the energy it needs, you will see results. No matter what your content is about, if someone clicks through, they're looking for an answer. Don't give them the runaround. Give them what they're looking for, and the chances are they'll come back for more. So what do you need in order to be a successful content marketer? First of all, you need to know who your ideal customer is, what problem you are solving for them, and how urgent that problem needs to be solved because that influences the type of content you create. So if you haven't done your ideal customer work, you haven't analyzed your buyer personas, I'm putting a link for you to get a free download worksheet because that truly is the first step in doing marketing that is really focused and targeted and gets you better results. Once you know who you help and what you help with, you need to understand what gets their attention. 
what stage of their buying journey they are at. And only then can you put the right content in front of the right person in the right place because you need to know where they are watching and when they are watching at the right time in the right format. What does that mean? Is it a blog? Is it a video? Is it a story? Is it a reel? Is it a post? Vary that content in order for people to get used to your content in different formats and for you to learn which format works best for your message. And obviously in the right language, you've got to talk a language your ideal customer understands and which is relevant to the platform you're communicating on. Your blog won't be full of emojis, but your Instagram post will have more emojis. Your Instagram post will have more hashtags. Your blog won't, neither will your email. All these are different places to distribute your content, but you have to tweak it, fix it for the kind of message, the kind of audience, and the kind of platform. Putting your content in front of your ideal customer is like searching for your next read on Amazon or listen to an audio and you're searching for something on Audible. So you have an idea what genre you want. You might put in a search word and see what suggestions come up. And suddenly the titles pop up and what's the first thing that grabs your attention is the relevance of the title. Your content should be relevant right from the title. It should be addressing where your ideal customer is and what problem they are looking to solve or a topic that attracts their interest. Once you are interested, once the title has grabbed your attention, you might click on it and go and read the description. That sounds interesting. Then you might pop off and go and read the reviews. This is where you get social proof. You get other people sharing their experience. You could do exactly the same with your customer experience, with your reviews. Give people the opportunity to see your social proof and your testimonials and so on. As we said, don't give them the runaround. Show them. Give it to them right up front. They shouldn't have to be asking or searching for that. And next, you might go to a trial. You might click on a sample chapter. In the early stages of building trust, offer a template, offer a freebie, offer a consultation, taking people on the next step of the journey. Imagine your ideal customers at different stages of the journey and go to meet them where they are. So here we have your sales funnel. And at the top, awareness, you are going to where they are. You have to be there to get their attention in the first place. So once you've studied your ideal customer and you know where they hang out, which social media platform, what are they searching for on Google, what titles do you need to give your content, then once you meet them where they are, you have to create the kind of content that gets their interest. How do you do that? by being relevant to them. You saw that quote earlier about your content should be getting people to think this was written for me. And that means knowing what they're interested in, knowing what they are searching for, knowing what problems they are looking to solve, what might be preventing them from buying from you. Frequently ask questions. Help them overcome objections without having to search for the answers. When they are ready to make a decision, be proven. Testimonials, case studies, these things I've just discussed. Show it to them so it makes the decision easy. Give them trials if that's what they need. Coupons, vouchers, free sessions, consultations, no risk guarantees, money back guarantees. Be helpful in any way that continues to take people down your sales funnel. And then, very importantly, once they have adopted, either signed up, taken a trial, bought from you, taken the next step on a call to action, be attentive, respond quickly while you're top of mind. Don't leave them hanging. 
help them get even more confident and build and nurture trust consistently until they become loyal, they believe in you and trust you that much that they will refer you and help you create further awareness that brings more leads into your sales funnel. If you've been popping out of people's screens when it suits you, with whatever you think about and when you can quickly grab a minute or quickly share a post, you'll know your audience is melting away, engagement is dying, and there's crickets. Nothing happening that is going to convert to a sale. And if you're serious about growing your business, if you really need to be attracting an audience that is engaged and that is your ideal prospect, that is likely to convert to a customer, then you need to be paying attention to content marketing. You cannot ignore this. This is the way marketing works now. With so much information out there, limited time to give your content attention, yours better jump out, it better address your ideal customer, it better show them why they need to pay attention and you need to add value consistently in the right place at the right time. So now you're thinking, this is daunting, how can you possibly do this? Well, we have done the heavy lifting, the sifting, the sorting, the testing, the learning and have come up with a content planner that ticks all the boxes. There are worksheets, there's place for your notes, we've got daily prompts, everything that helps you create a content marketing platform from which you can distribute effectively, consistently, and in a relevant manner. All you need to do is focus on your ideal customer, so make sure you've got that right, then grab this plan and get creative. I'm going to give you an inside look into a plan to show you how it works and show you how we can help you do more effective content marketing to grow your business and that you can no longer ignore taking this seriously because what if you don't? Social media will simply not be that fabulous free tool it should be to market your business. Your blogs will not attract attention. Your website will not get increased traffic. You need this. Let me show you what I can do to help you. This is an instant download when you get the content planner. And as a matter of interest, right up front, I offer services to do a branded video clip for you. Or you can book a consultation to plan a campaign to help you focus your month on a particular marketing objective or to launch or to create an event or set yourself up to do an ad. You're very welcome to book a consultation. We meet online. I do a Zoom meeting and share the recording for you to refer back to. This is a tool for one of the most time-consuming essential marketing tasks. As I've demonstrated, content marketing is king. Once you know who your ideal audience is, you have to implement a strategy to get them to know, like, trust you enough to buy. Besides communicating and building relationships in a modern way, your engaged audience helps your content work better because engagement means increased reach. We've done all the planning for you, as I'm going to show you. In this plan, we have days of the year calendar watch. So for every single day of the month in that calendar are the relevant days of the year. I'm going to show you how to use this. Here are notes that also will reiterate what I'm explaining to you when you get your plan. You use this plan as your business calendar. There's a space where you can diarize all your own business events so that you don't miss them in your content, especially if you're planning ahead. Hashtags and keywords. 
are critical on some of the platforms like Instagram. You use them on LinkedIn, a few on Facebook, etc. And here we give you lots of ideas on how to use hashtags. And I've got a little bonus link for you to use a free tool that I love to go to to find hashtags for whatever content I'm creating. So every single bit of marketing communication that you put out there should have a marketing objective. If you are just clicking share on another bit of content just for the sake of putting something on your newsfeed, that is not a marketing objective. Have in mind, are you attracting your audience? As I demonstrated with that sales funnel earlier, are you attracting your audience? Are you building and nurturing the relationship? Or are you sending them somewhere to take action, to convert, either to sign up, to make a booking, to go and read your blog, whatever, to click on a link, this plan and in our strategy, a conversion is they are actually taking action. Conversion is not just sales, but it is taking the next step on their journey with you. When you have your marketing objective, i.e. why are you posting, you suddenly have something to measure. You know whether you are being successful or not. If you're just posting for the sake of posting without a marketing objective, you're probably not setting very effective measurement of whether you are achieving those objectives. Start with a reason for doing stuff. Why are you creating and distributing this specific bit of content? And then under the what, I give you many many, and almost a different one every day, types of posts to push the envelope to help you think about doing something different. Not just an inspirational post, but now I'm saying to you, try creating a video, go live, do a reel, whatever. I have included, so you don't have to now go and search for the different types of content. It's all in that plan for you. And you can change it up and test it to see what works for your audience. The way they vote is with their thumb. They stop to read your content and then engage. They are liking the type of content and the message you're communicating. And the big point here is the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your content is educational, inspirational, and enriching. Only 15 to 20% even less here, is salesy. You can also use this plan if you're working with a team to identify roles, give people specific days or specific tasks, and you can put it into that plan. So you all work off the same plan and we can help you do that. There's a link here to show you how we work and we could even do a few posts a week for you to supplement your content, the type of content you might be finding difficult to do. Then where? Content marketing, as I've explained, is about going to where your ideal customer is. There is a specific column in this plan where you will identify where you are distributing to. So you can mark which social media platforms, whether you're going to write a blog or a newsletter or whatever. And I'll tell you where it really helps. So when you come to do a blog or a newsletter and you refer back to this content calendar, you can see and remember which content worked so that you know which content and topics are of interest to your audience and there is your sign of what to focus on. You could even just do a summary of the past few weeks' content as a newsletter. Many different ways to use this content calendar to inspire your content going forward as well. And then I urge you to check your insights and analytics on your platforms to see when your ideal customers are online and you make a note on this content calendar to remind you when the best time to post is because what happens with this content calendar, it makes scheduling and focusing on content creation once a week or so and scheduling all your content for the next week to free up your time to engage, to respond, 
and to actually work with nurturing your audience towards sales. So we highly recommend cr focusing, creating, scheduling, and then you can post in between when in the spur of the moment stuff comes up, which is highly encouraged. But in principle, within a plan, a strategy is implemented and you've got your stuff distributed when your audience is there to see it at the best time when they're online. And then, of course, the most important thing with anything we do is test, 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 measure, 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 and tweak. When you don't measure, you can't improve. So we urge you to keep track of which of your content is working, which is not working, and note that and change your content creation accordingly. I invite you to share, to engage, to ask any questions by emailing me on info at redmatchday. The first tip or part of this plan that helps you to focus a particular month's content is for the current month, we have month's themes and they change every month. You will review the list below and go and check if it refers to your business, your ideal customers, a niche market, or indeed it inspires an idea that could become a promotion that could become a campaign, that could become the underlying thread of your communication for a week or a month or whatever. And then, of course, these hashtags, the month hashtags, helps your content get found. That's what hashtags do. They're for discoverability. So we focus a lot on giving you words and ideas to attach to a hashtag that helps you get found and therefore create awareness amongst new users and attract a bigger audience. You could scroll down this. Often I'll give you some additional tips or a link to show you something extra. Remember, hashtags always come at the end of your content. They aren't naturally part of your copywriting. They are a tool for discoverability. There are many, many different ideas every month, different every month, to help you focus on a theme if that is relevant. It's one of the many ways I've given you to inspire you to create content for the month. The big bonus in each plan is the click through to a Dropbox. And when you go through to the Dropbox, there is a pile of content for every single day of the month that you can either use to inspire an idea. They have been created by us. So this is not stolen content. You are welcome to use it without any copyright issues. Use the idea. Use the post. Most of them are not branded. So you could just put your logo on top and use them as you see fit. Or, so when you're in the Dropbox and you've got all these by date, you will notice there's a red matchstick plan and templates. And that is an extra, additional, even more. You've already got the free content. Now I'm giving you even more bonus. These are edit on Canva links. So I've given you some ideas of posts. Now imagine having to start, if you're not very arty, creating that from scratch. But you could just click on this link. It takes you directly to Canva where you could then go and click and replace the pictures, add your own quote, and make this your own in a matter of seconds without having to spend too much time coming up with an idea. Let me show you another one. So, for example, here's a series of tips. As you scroll down, you could go to each one and simply click on the background change the background color to whatever suits your brand, change the copy, change the elements, whatever. But in principle, the design is there for you, for you to click on and edit to save you time and help you with inspiration. Because the Facebook cover image is difficult to size very often. So if you click on this template and you make sure your content is inside this border, it is going to be perfect on a mobile device. If you fill all this with content 
on the recommended Facebook cover image template, your content will not fit properly on mobile device, therefore not be mobile friendly. So lots of ideas here for you. I've got stories. I've got a challenge, question post. I've even shown you how to create a carousel for Instagram. All the borders have been created, the little arrows to help people scroll through, the like it button, all those things that you might have had trouble creating, all done for you. Click on the link and go straight to the template. Right up front, before we've even got going, I hope I've convinced you there's tons to boost your content creation and to add value to your relatively small investment in this content calendar. The next part I want to show you is days of the week. These are such useful trending hashtags. You will see all over the social media how people use days of the week as the hashtag. To f And trending hashtags help you get discovered. Important point number one. They are for discoverability. They are for attracting a new audience. However, when you sit at the day of the week, and you scroll down the extensive list, look how many hashtags there are here, and you find one that relates to your business, not only will it be a hashtag of the week, but it might have inspired your content. So this is another tool to help you increase your awareness and attract a new audience. Now we go to the actual content plan for each day of the month. This changes every month because the days of the year vary for each month. There are, believe it or not, day of the year days. So for the first of this month, there are heaps of days of the year. And because the first one happens to be a Wednesday, the first Wednesday of this month is Global Running Day. There are other examples of this. The first Friday of this particular month is Donut Day and Fish and Chips Day. So there are some that vary every year. When you get your plan, you need to add in the days of the week. And the reason for making you do that exercise is so you can refer back to the days of the week as you are filling them in and make a note about days of the week that pop out for you. So immediately you are giving yourself some ideas about what to post. So on the first, what do I want to do with this post? So as I've said to you, I've done the heavy lifting for you. So every single day, a marketing objective to take people down your sales funnel. And then I've given you an idea for the type of content you should create. And then there is some creative inspiration. Take it, leave it, use it, don't use it. This is just to help you even more. Then days of the year. This is where you would write what, where you are going to distribute this content. So you would write which social media platforms. You would go through your calendar. Make a note of the days you're going to blog. Make a note of the days you're going to share to YouTube or to LinkedIn, if you're not doing LinkedIn every day, I recommend you do Instagram and Facebook every day. But some of the others won't be every day. Write it into your plan. So when you come to distribute your content, you won't forget. And you'll do it very consistently and very effectively across your whole ecosystem. Now, let's show you how to use this one, for example. So what can you think about that helps customers or prospects see the different ways they can use your service or your product. Here's an example. We sell a collagen product and it happens to be Global Running Day. And don't we all laugh our heads off when somebody falls in public even if it's just tragic, the first reaction we have is laugh because we're embarrassed or saying, thank God that wasn't me. So you try and find a picture of somebody falling head over heels, which is an epic fail, something that will really make them laugh using the global running day hashtag and say one sure way to minimize injuries 
in these most unfortunate moments when you want to leap up and walk around like nothing happened is to have a regimen to protect your ligaments and tendons and did you know that one of the uses of collagen is wada wada wada. You don't have to use all the tips I've given you in one post. You can use one, two, three, four, but it shows you how you can string them all together to make a very creative story. Let's try another. Right, increase awareness cross-platform. We know that everybody has their favorite platform. But you also want them to know that you're on other platforms which they might prefer to use. So someone might be following you very casually on Facebook, but be a business associate. And when they find out you're on LinkedIn, they might prefer to see your business communication there. Now, we also know that podcasts and audios are very popular content. So I'm suggesting here that you share an audio and a transcript. How about creating a video on Facebook or sharing a video on Facebook, creating an audio and a transcript for that video and then sharing a link to get the audio and download the transcript on a LinkedIn post instead of sharing the video there. We know LinkedIn is not that much video and because we've got a hashtag that works, we can say leave the office early and learn something new today and you can hashtag leave the office early and there you are using a trending hashtag in addition because you've offered the audio with a link to listen you can also measure how many people have clicked on the link and downloaded the transcript i.e be able to measure how many people are interested in that kind of content if you get a lot of interest you know you need to do more here I urge you to grow interest with an inspirational post. So you would put an inspirational quote on the cover and use your number one role model as the person that created the quote. So if it's mom, you can say one of mom's quotes or you can go and search for Oprah, Gary Vaynerchuk, whoever, and find one of their quotes and use it as a quote on your cover image as long as it is congruent and relates into your business. And if you're creating an event, your quote would be why they should come to the event, why they should pay attention, how it's going to transform their lives and provide a solution that they will value. And of course, don't forget to look at your days of the year. Okay, I'm just going to scroll and show you the different types of content and objectives. You've got an idea now how to use my creative inspiration and or days of the year to inspire you to create your content. But really, the most important part of this plan is your funnel objective and changing up the type of content you use. Awareness with live, a live broadcast is pushed into news feeds all the social media platforms rate live content above all else. Even a live story gets higher preference in newsfeed than a normal story. I urge you in every plan to go live at least once a week because that's what will increase your awareness and what will get you a new audience coming into your funnel. And I've given you different ways to do live. So if you're terrified of live, you can change it up and test which you get used to, but stop avoiding going live. It is valuable marketing content and it is a great way to get your message in front of more people. So location awareness means you would go live and emphasize the hashtag of where you are located. You would promote your live with a story that's got a live sticker. Check in to your location, everything you can possibly think of doing to optimize your live location, assuming that is relevant if you're a brick and mortar business. And you can go live and say, ask me anything, get yourself a few frequently asked questions that you can kick off with, questions you know your ideal customer ask you, and address them, talk about them, ask them, and constantly engage with your audience and ask them to post more questions.
Here's just a tip. If you don't know what to talk about, you could talk about what is the most disappointing purchase I've ever made online and ask them what they've done and why was it so disappointing. This gets them talking about their experience. It helps you understand what irks your ideal customer so that you can address that as a pain point, as an objection, and make sure you don't have them suffer the same experience. But it's definitely a great conversation starter. Next, we have convert with urgency. Limiters are not spammy, scammy. They are actually a very important tool that you use to help your prospects make a decision. To get off the fence and say, I'm in or I'm out. That's all it is. We know that people will avoid making decisions for as long as they can. Life gets in the way. They run out of time. Somebody interrupts them, whatever. When there's a limiter and they know this is important or I lose out forever, they will either decide to take action or not. You have actually helped them in that way. So here's an image behind the scenes. You can share a little known secret about how you help and you would say, get it now before it's too late. Either there's limited quantity or time. Next, we have increase reach with engagement. Search for a gift and try and find one that's ask A or B, which do you prefer? So it could be coffee or tea. It could be cats or dogs. The point is a gift combined with a question, increases engagement. People cannot resist to respond. Always remember to check if you've got a trending hashtag that could help your content reach even further. Educate and build desire with tips. So now you're giving them some tips on how to do stuff, help them do something better. So you could have an image of somebody that is really looking excited, arms up or just got a new car or keys to a new house and you would give them tips on how to get the best buy, greater reach with engagement, fill in the blank. If you won the lotto, what would be your biggest buy and an image cartoon? Again, people won't resist responding and when they respond, your reach increases. That is the objective. Increased reach to expand your awareness beyond your current audience. Exclusive offer, video, quick hurry. Build your list, give them something to sign up for. Increase awareness with reels. We know reels works incredible. 15 second reels, your own video clip, add music. You will get engagement when people engage. Thank them for engaging. Go and follow them. They're likely to follow you back. Initiate action with click through to a sales page. When you are promoting something or you have a survey, give them a link to go there. Ask for their help with making a decision you have. People love being asked to help. They love the idea that you value their help. I think you've got the gist of this. Every day of the month, there is a marketing objective and then there is a type of post and they vary continuously as I've explained to you. Here you would use your live repurposed into a clip. So you would download your live from whichever platform and clip it into a short one idea, a live post, a link to a blog, an image collage. Right. Now I just want to show you what happens at the end of this planner so here's some links for us to help you further if you want notes for next month a campaign worksheet for you if you are planning a campaign you can name your campaign when you are running it what your budget is what you are trying to achieve with that campaign what you are promoting which ideal customer you are promoting it to how you are going to appeal to them what pain point are you addressing what are you offering them as the unique solution, the transformation you are bringing? And then are they aware, unaware? Where are they in their customer journey? Are they already aware of your offer? Do you have their interest? Are they starting to make a decision or, or are they not aware of you at all? Which channels are you going to use? What type of creative you're going to use? 
And if you're going to advertise, which platform? Advertising objective, are you going to use awareness or conversion or whatever? And which link are you going to send them to? Which hashtags are you going to use? Which keywords are you going to use in your copy? And how are you going to measure your success? And at the end of your campaign, you're going to make a note of what bombed, what succeeded, and you will be able to refer back here for next time. I hope that has been useful and it has convinced you that this content planner is something that can make your life very much simpler, that can focus you on marketing without having to be a marketing expert. You can do it by focusing on your ideal customer on this plan, be consistent, be focused and deliver value. I hope I see you on the other side and also invite you to join my KISS group where I add many, many more tips like that. Cheers for now. Thank you for joining me.